Okay, so good morning everyone. Welcome to Physics 71 and today we will be having our lecture 33 or day 33 which is on waves and waves in 3D. So, um we're almost done with the semester. Supposedly tapos na lahat. Nakita niyo yung lecture video sa lecture 32. Puro puro pa tapos na yung nakalagay doon. But well, we still need to discuss two topics which is on waves and on the Doppler effect because it turns out that you'll be needing it in your higher physics courses like your Physics 72 and or 73. So, importante ang waves sa understanding ng light. 72. Kaya kailangan siyang i-discuss sa 71 because you need to understand what the wave equation is. And para hindi kayo magulan, ah, wave, at wave equation na yan? Ba't saan galing yan? Pagdating yun ng 72. That's why it it, it is, uh, we need to discuss it for for you not to get lost in your uh, in your upper physics courses. Especially those who will be taking 72 and or 73. The Doppler effect then is important in 73 because there's also this thing called relativistic Doppler effect na kailangan yung gamitan, gamit, uh, kailangan yung maintindihan anong pinagkaiba ng relativistic version sa non-relativistic version. So, for lecture 33, which is today, we will discuss waves. Um, what exactly are waves? Uh, anong difference niya with oscillations? And what are the different points na kailangan nating maintindihan about um about um waves um there are different types of waves in fact maraming pwedeng solutions ang waves pero we will only focus on one which is on the sinusoidal wave equation or or the or that solution of the wave equation wherein you have a sinusoidal fu function or sinusoidal wave function anyway so um here's an outline of this discussion medyo mahaba ito um first things first we did, we will discuss types of mechanical waves um Exactly what exactly is a wave and how is it different from an oscillation and what are mechanical waves? How uh, are are all waves mechanical? Of course, the answer is no. Um, there are the an, anong, anong focus on mechanical waves. Mechanical waves are waves that uh, need a medium to propagate. So there is a this thing called propagation. So ano ba, ano ba ng propagation ayan? And then after that, we will we'll discuss periodic waves. Um uh, waves are in general periodic. So, pag-uusapan natin, natin yung mga quantities na makakuha natin from that periodicity. Okay? And then, after that, we will have some mathematical formulation on the description of a wave. Basically, we will discuss here the wave equation and some of the solutions of the wave equation. Um, and then, we will focus next on harmonic waves and strings. So that's one of the solutions of the wave equation. We will focus on the, the sinusoidal and the cosine function or the sinusoidal nature of a wave. So, yun yung talaga mapapansin natin. And ito, medyo familiar sa atin to kasi alam natin yung wave speed, alam natin yung wavelength, alam natin yung wave number, and so on. So, hindi na siya bago sa atin, I believe. Okay? And then after that, we will discuss energy in waves. Um, In particular, what is the power delivered by a wave? Ano yung power? Ano yung total power na dinadeliver ng isang wave and then we have also a supplementary discussion on deriving the wave equation of a string because uh, we will be needing the speed of a wave on a string, we need that equation. The question is, bakit ganun yung equation? We will not discuss in the main lecture the actual derivation kasi relatively medyo tedious siya. Pero pag-uusapan natin sa supplementary discussion. So that will be our outline for this discussion. And here are some of the objectives. So the following are the objectives of this topic. First, you need to describe and distinguish mechanical wave, periodic wave, and sinusoidal wave. Again, some of these are just examples of mechanical waves. And all of, uh, a sinusoidal wave and, in general, a harmonic wave is a solution of the wave equation. And then after that, we relieve wave quantities on a sinusoidal wave. Given your wave function, what are the quantities that you can get? Uh, marami kang makukuha, actually. And that's the focus of our, uh, of our examples for today. Given a particular wave function, y of x and t, what can we obtain uh, from this. So, so ano yung makukuha natin? O ano yung mga quantities na makukuha natin? So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin. And then, after that, we identify wave quantities from a given sinusoidal wave function and vice versa. Given a y of x and t, what are, what, ano yung amplitude dyan, ano yung wave number dyan, ano yung angular frequency dyan, and so on. And from there, marami ka na makukuha quantities dun, na nagde-describe dun sa wave na yun. Okay? May mga tanong ba, guys? Are there any questions from this topic, from um, the first part of our discussion? May mga tanong ba? Okay. Oh, so I think there are no questions. Sige. So, let's proceed.